Texas is shooting up the recruiting rankings with the flip on Sunday of Wardell Mack from the Florida Gators. The four-star corner moves Texas up to the number seven spot in the on three industry rankings. Let's bring on Jerry Hamilton from Inside Texas. And Jerry, explain how it all went down on Sunday with Texas taking one of Florida's top commitments in Wardell Mack. Yeah, I think it was interesting. I was by a John Eric High School Thursday and the, since I got walking away from that high school, talking with members of the coaching staff and Wardell himself, the story I posted on Inside Texas, that this recruitment was very much in the balance, Josh. I think with Florida's season, some pieces of that class starting to peel a little bit there. Um, obviously, we're helping Texas at Florida State. LSU was still trying as well. But, you know, if Wardell was, had decided he wasn't going to go to Florida – um, it was going to come down to Texas and Florida State because LSU just hasn't been a, been a real fixture in that recruitment. And Jamari Howard flips to Florida State. And that gave Florida State three corner commitments. Um, and there's a much better path. I think that class, uh, that opportunity looks a lot better for Wardell Mack at Texas. With that being said, Steve Sarkeesian, Terry Joseph, they never backed off Wardell Mack after he committed uh, to the University of Florida. They stayed on him. Wardell said they talked multiple times per week via text or call um, and say the same thing with Florida State. But Steve Sarkeesian and Terry Joseph uh, both stayed on that recruitment. Terry Joseph grew up two miles away from Wardell Mack. They played, not at the same time, but they played on the same playground as kids. Mm -hmm. I think the other thing, Josh, is at least one family member liked the idea of Wardell being at Texas, and that was dating back to the June official visit. I think at the end of the day, I think uh, the, a lot of members of the family liked the University of Texas for Wardell. Well, you said at the beginning, the Longhorns capitalized on Florida's kind of spiraling season, maybe not going to be bowl eligible. So that leads me to my next question. Can Texas capitalize on Texas A&M's firing of Jimbo Fisher? That'll be interesting. Ty Anthony Smith, the linebacker of Jasper, out of Jasper, four-star in the on-three industry ranking, really six, one and a half, 210-pound long-arm active linebacker. Um, he had an official visit scheduled to Texas for September 30th for the Kansas game. He canceled that visit uh, morning of. I think he was very upfront and honest with A&M, told him about his plans in Texas A&M, talked to him about that. And Ty Anthony's been one guy that's remained really loyal uh, to Texas A&M through their struggles. Mm -hmm. this year. He really has a good relationship with DJ Durkin, uh, but he's remained in contact with Texas here. That's one Texas, they're hanging around the rim, Josh. They're going to recruit through the whistle and they're hoping to get a flip there at linebacker because Texas doesn't have a linebacker commitment right now. Both the guys they're working on would be flip candidates, Ty Anthony Smith, Justin Williams committed to Georgia. Uh, so they're hoping they can flip one of those two guys. Dominant McKinley has remained solid with Texas A&M. Um, there's been very light communication with Texas in the last few weeks. That communication would have to pick up before I believe that could be real. Now, I'll say on the Florida side, though, Josh, Texas still after Xavier feel same. Yeah, absolutely. Now, we sat on this show about two or three months ago, and we used to ponder how could Texas, what's the path to a top five class for Texas? And that, at that time, they were sitting at 22, they were sitting at 24, and it seemed like, man, I don't know if Texas is going to get there. But now they're currently sitting at number seven. So I sit here today in early November and ask you, Jerry, can Texas finish with the top five class in 2024? Yeah, they can. Uh, they have a long enough runway with 20 commitments right now and up to 24 guys in this class. Texas still leads big for Kobe Black. Uh, and he, we've said before, this isn't going all the way to December. It's not going all the way to December. Yeah. It may it may end up going to December. We may be wrong on that one. It looked like it was going to end a lot earlier. Um, but Texas still leads for Kobe Black. Look, and then they're still in it. They're trying to flip Xavier Phil Same, five-star safety committed to Florida. Yeah. Uh, we, we've talked about other guys. Texas is still in contact with TJ Lindsay at Auburn. I think that's an uphill battle. Ty Anthony Smith. Uh, so if Texas can win out for Kobe Black and they hit on a couple more four-star guys here and they would have to be flips possibly unless they make a late push for Solomon Williams, then Texas is probably going to finish with the five or six ranked class. So they're right there, Josh. Another one. We'll see how it plays out, but I agree with you. They are currently trending in that direction. Jerry Hamilton from Inside Texas, thanks for stopping by the On3 Roundtable. You got it. Texas fans, if you like that video, go check out all the content on Inside Texas, and remember to subscribe to the On3 Roundtable.